Welcome. This is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support, and we're on video three where we're talking about parametric part builder and how to make parametric multi view parts. So let's talk, go to the problem statement. Um, read this problem statement if you need to, pause the video, and let's move on. Okay, so third video here. Um, first off, I want to correct your model here just a little bit to help me make. Um, I want to draw from here to here. Let's rotate that about this axis, okay? And using some old drafting techniques, let's go and uh, move him from here to there and then this line let's rotate it again rotate them out 45 degrees okay and then let's draw a line from here upwards and then repeat a line from there this way okay and then drawing our extension upwards. It's really a lost art, isn't it? <laughs> Draw my extension line upwards. There. So he was missing from the top view. Okay. Um, the reason I drew that was because in this plane here, we have, let's draw, let's put a, I'm going to change the layer so that we can see our construction lines, and I want to change our snap settings. So I want end point, midpoint. I don't think we have any centers. Keep note on and keep Okay, good. So let's go and draw some lines. We drew this as our extrusion path through our rectangle. Now we're going to draw from that point outwards until we find the center of this guy. And we'll draw a path over there. So basically these lines are going to be kind of construct construction lines that define the center of this bigger rectangle that we're going to draw. We're going to draw that rectangle on this plane down here. But first we have to identify the center point of that rectangle based off of the this path here. So where this path ends begins our construction lines which help us to define that and locate this this rectangle. Then we'll create at this point we're going to create a concentric point. Um, basically it says, so that point is floating somewhere right around the center of this guy here on this plane. And it's going to, we're going to create an offset plane, offsetting downwards to create a new work plane down here. And then that point is going to be concentric between, it's going to be a reference point basically between the two work planes. So this work plane will now have uh, the equivalent location of this point on his work plane. Then we'll draw on this guy this work plane down here, we'll draw the main outline body of this guy as a profile. And then the next thing we're going to do is do an offset of this plane, creating a new work plane up here. And we'll say extrude the profile that we created for this main guy. Extrude them from down here all the way up to there. That's going to be the overall length. So the distance between these planes will be the overall length of this the height of this guy. Um, and then all we have to do is draw another profile up here in which we will draw, um, you know, we'll also have that reference, that center point, reference point, and we'll draw another line from him out to the uh, 
well, basically to find the identify the center of this guy. So, how are we going to do that? Let's draw him upwards and then over to the side, and then maybe have a line that comes back to the center from there out this way. And we'll identify the center point of this profile. We'll draw a profile off to the side and then extrude him upwards from this plane here. Um, 